Okay guys, I just want to talk you through some of this quiz stuff really quick. Um, so if you go into uh, your class, go to course content, and then the quizzes that you want. Now the ones I'm seeing the most issue with are up here and down here. So let's just look at classification of matter for a second. Continue completely classify. Guys, what that means is you are going to choose everything that applies. Is ammonia this? Is ammonia this? This? And so on. This is a compound, okay? So you need to choose this as well as is it a pure substance or a mixture. You want to be as thorough as you can. Um, apparently I don't have any more attempts because I keep trying to do it like you guys. Um, now, if you get half credit, I've tried doing that to see what would happen. Um, and here, let me go into the other class. What is going to happen when you do that? Nope, I tried it here too. See, look here, I've got half credit. I have tried clicking wrong answers, I've tried clicking right answers. I wanted to see what you guys would see. You can reattempt this question. Half credit means you got it half right, meaning you got one right answer or one wrong answer. So you can select what you think this is. Again, this is a compound, but you need to go through and see if it's anything else. It's not a mixture because it's a compound. It's not an element. It's two or more elements bonded. It's not a mixture. It's not a mixture, but it is a pure substance. At that point, you can click select and you get some number of points. Now, depending on what you select, you're going to be able to determine whether you got the full credit or not. Now, coming down here to sig fix, guys, remember when you're calculating these, Actually, this is just straight up. It's going to be a yes or no thing. How many sig figs are this? So you're going to count one, two, three, four, five. I would not select only this and hit submit. You want to do it for all of them. Um, actually, let's see what happens. Submit. See, it tells you, oh, you didn't get everything you forgot. So reattempt the last question. Here, this is two because there's a decimal. Everything counts. You need to make sure you are considering exactly what you have. Now, in a um, number like this, round this to four sig figs. Well, I'm going to go over to the third three, so I know it's 918 point. This six makes that two come up to a three. Round it to two sig figs. It's nine. The one goes up because of the two. no decimal or it would make it four sig figs. Now this means I need to put it in scientific notation. So I'm going to say 9.13 oops 183 times 10 raised to the 2. And it's going to show me what it's going to look like. Now here 9.2 times 10 raised to the 2. Preview. That looks good to me. Here are three sig figs. 9.18 times 10 raised to the 2. This is going to tell you if you've got it entered in a, um, in a proper way or not. Again, make sure you have all three answered before you click submit. If you don't, you will end up losing some points and that's just no fun for anybody. If you're doing something like, um, where's the long one? These are in random order for all of you guys, so just be aware. Um, they're not going to be the same questions for you guys. When you're adding here, adding and subtracting, you go to the fewest number of decimal spaces. This goes to three, this goes to two, this doesn't have any. You're going to go to the whole number region. And so when you add these together, I hope it records over this, 21 plus 
plus 0.751. We're only going to go to the 1 space, and so that means 385. That is what you should do there. Now, when you have a dividing, wow, that's really hard to see, or maybe I'm just blind. Um, here, you're going to do sig figs. So when you do this, you're going to go to two sig figs because two, four, you want a four. It's not a one space because it's not a subtraction. So 5.6 divided by 133.9, 0 0.04. 418. Now remember, 2 sig fig, so it's really going to be 0 0.042. But, um, it says whole number, so it should be fine like this. And absolutely. If it wanted scientific notation, it would have told me. Calculate the quotient below, express the result with the correct number of sig figs. Every number you do, you should assume the correct number of sig figs. I hope this helps see how you can enter it. I will tell you guys this, as you go into these assignments, if you click on my grades, it is going to give you um, your grade already. And so that can be scary because you're going to see these 40, 42 percent. I didn't finish it. I just did a few questions really quick. Um, so make sure you're not panicking. Go back through and make sure you've answered all your questions. I can do that, but to do that for a hundred and, I don't know, 20 students is going to be very difficult. Also guys, if I correct something, if I add points, if there's something here, there is a text box here that you can say you can see the comment I write, and I write comments for almost every discussion board forum, okay? Hope this helps. Good luck.